Hey guys, Dr. Childs here. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to build your own natural desiccated thyroid formula or blend with the clever use of some supplements and maybe one prescription thyroid medication. So if you are somebody who is looking to up your game, up the effectiveness of your thyroid medication, then this video is for you. This is also really important because there were a ton of people who were sort of left in the lurch when Nature Throid and WP Thyroid were removed from the market. Yes, we still have some alternatives like NP Thyroid and Armor Thyroid, but if you've been in the thyroid community for any length of time, then you know that even small changes to the inactive ingredients found in these medications is enough to render that medication almost completely ineffective. Yeah, it's not, that's okay, that's a little exaggerating. It's not completely ineffective, but it is enough to allow for the recurrence of symptoms. So what can you do if you're one of these patients? Well, do you have to just sit around and just hope and pray that these medications come back on the market? Not necessarily, because there are things that you can do to sort of take your situation into your own hands and make your thyroid medication even more effective. So we're gonna be talking about that today. Now, before I do, I wanna say a couple things. Now, first off is this, I'm making the assumption that you're starting with a thyroid medication of level thyroxine. So I'm gonna build upon that base. Even if you aren't using level thyroxine, and if you're using any thyroid medication, including T3, um, or even an NP thyroid or an armor thyroid, you can still add these ingredients that I'm gonna be talking about on top of the medication that you're using and it'll just make it even more effective. All right, so that's a little disclaimer. Now let's talk about NDT and what makes it so effective. Why is it that it's one of the most sought after thyroid medications and why is it that so many people were doing well and were very well controlled from a symptomatic standpoint on, NP, on WP thyroid and Nature Thyroid before they were removed? Well, there are some unique characteristics of NDT that you should know about as a thyroid patient because we need to understand these characteristics if we're gonna try and recreate it. So one of those has to do with the thyroid hormone content. We know that natural desiccated thyroid contains more than just T4 thyroid hormone, which is what, by the way, level thyroxine contains. So if you're taking level thyroxine, you're only getting one thyroid hormone. This is different from natural desiccated thyroid, which contained a blend of thyroid hormones, including T4, T3, T2, probably some T1, although that's not that important, in addition to other ingredients. So it has a wide array of thyroid hormones, which is definitely in part why people do better on it. The second thing is it has more than just those components. In fact, it has, contains more than just thyroid hormones. It has a whole bunch of other ingredients that would be found inside of the thyroid gland of pigs, which is usually the source. So if we're going to recreate NDT, we have to take into account the hormones that are missing in level thyroxine. We have to replace those. And we also have to take into account the other ingredients that I was mentioning. So let's talk about how to do that. So step one would be if you're working with your natural, or if you're working with your level thyroxine blend, you would need to replace some of those ingredients. And one of the ways you can do that is with a supplement called a thyroid glandular. All right, if you're not familiar with it, let me just fill you in real quick. A thyroid glandular supplement is a supplement that contains gland, uh, actual thyroid gland from cows or a bovine source in this case. So it's not from a pig, it would be from a cow in this, case, in this situation. Now, this is different from natural desiccated thyroid because it does not contain the active thyroid hormones of T4 and T3. There might be a little bit of T1 and T2 in there because they're generally not tested for, but it definitely does not contain the T4 and the T3. Now, what is so unique about this? Well, if you can imagine your thyroid gland, you know for sure that if you're listening to this, you know physiologically speaking that the thyroid gland produces thyroid hormones, right? It's the place where these things are created. Now, imagine if you went in and took your thyroid gland out and laid it on a table and looked at all the ingredients and you would, what would you find in there? Well, yes, you would find some T4 and T3 thyroid hormone, but you would find a ton of other ingredients like enzymes and pro-hormones and proteins and half-created thyroid hormones. You know, it would be like looking inside of a car factory. Yes, you would find some finished cars inside of there, but you'd also find a lot of unfinished vehicles. The same thing happens with the thyroid gland. So when you take out, when you're taking NDT, like natural desiccated thyroid medications, you're getting a lot of those proteins and pro-hormones and enzymes. And that is definitely one of the reasons why it's so effective. Now, if you want to get those ingredients, in addition to taking your level thyroxine, you can do that by taking a thyroid glandular supplement. And these are available over the counter. So that is step one, you have to replace those components. And the only way to do that is with a thyroid glandular supplement. So in addition to your level thyroxine, we have the addition of the thyroid glandular supplement. 
Now, step two is you have to take care of the other hormones that weren't there previously. So we're going to talk about T2 thyroid hormone right now. Um, T2 thyroid hormone is definitely found in natural desiccated thyroid medications like Armour Thyroid um, and NP Thyroid. Now, the only unfortunate thing is we don't know how much T2 is in there, right? There's no testing done for the T2. The T4 and T3 dosing in the medications are standardized, meaning that every single grain has the exact same amount of T3, well, within reason, right? Within a couple percentage points. It has, it's supposed to have the exact same amount of T3 and T4 thyroid medication. Yes, it does include some T2, and we know that T2 is a powerful thyroid hormone, but we don't know how much is actually in any given lot of natural desiccated thyroid. That is kind of unfortunate, but we do know that it's there and we do know that it's providing some benefit. So if you are going to maintain all the benefits of NDT while using level thyroxine, you have to account for that and you have to get T2 in some way. Now, luckily, T2 thyroid hormone is the only thyroid hormone that doesn't require a prescription medication to get. So you can take it as a supplement form. That's why I said we're, we're kind of tweaking some things to use some clever supplements to make up the difference. So step one, we have on the level thyroxine base, we have the, the addition of the thyroid glandulars to replace the pro hormones and the proteins and the enzymes that are found in there. Step two, we have the addition of the T2 thyroid hormone, which replaces the T2 thyroid hormone component. And step three, we have to, this is where the prescription medications may come in here, but we have to replace that T3 component. So remember, as I said previously, natural desiccated thyroid contains a combination of T4 and T3 thyroid hormone. You're getting the T4 component if you're taking level thyroxine because that's all that it contains. But, and this is a big but, you're not getting the most powerful thyroid hormone, which is T3. So my recommendation, if you're trying to recreate it, you're going to need to account for that lost T3, which means you will need some T3 medication. Now, of all the steps we're gonna be talking about, this one is still, the, this one is definitely the hardest. So because it's going to require prescription medication. The other two things I just mentioned, you can go out and buy those over the counter. You, it's not gonna be hard for you to get those, but getting T3 thyroid hormone may be difficult. So when it comes to natural desiccated thyroid, it contains about 23% T3 and about 76% T4. So ideally, if you are gonna use a T3 medication, you'd want to have a, sim a similar ratio. So you'd wanna get about 23% of your total dose as T3 thyroid hormone. But even if you can't do that, you will probably still be okay if you can get even five to 10 micrograms added on to your level thyroxine base. And the reason for that is because of the other ingredients we're talking about, you're getting more precise dosing. So like for instance, of the T2 that I mentioned, the standard dose for that is usually 100 micrograms, which means you're getting more T2 if you're using the supplement form than if you are just taking natural desiccated thyroid. So that does make up for a little bit of the difference in T3. But I do recommend that you get some T3 if possible, but again, that will be a little bit difficult because it's gonna require your doctor to prescribe that. Now this is step four and it is optional, but I do think it's still worth mentioning. And that is if you imagine taking the thyroid gland out of a pig, which is what natural desiccated thyroid is, as I said, you're getting the proteins, the pro hormones, the enzymes, but you're also getting iodine, right? The, uh, your body stores iodine inside of the thyroid gland, which means when you take NDT, you are taking, you're getting iodine whether you realize it or not. In fact, the, the amount of iodine found in there is about 130 micrograms of iodine in every grain of natural desiccated thyroid. So if you're taking Armour Thyroid or NP Thyroid or even Adthiza, well, we're not so sure about Adthiza, but the other two for sure, you're getting iodine every single day, which is kind of funny, right? Because a lot of doctors will say, hey, make sure you avoid iodine, and then they'll turn around and give you a medication that contains iodine. Well, they, they probably just don't know that. But it is true, there is iodine found in all thyroid medications and even more found in NDT. So if you're trying to recreate this NDT blend, you probably are gonna to wanna to count for that iodine because there's no question that the use of iodine does have a beneficial effect on thi for thyroid patients, right? Because it's the thing that your thyroid uses to produce thyroid hormone. So my recommendation would be to consider, I'm putting this optional, but I'd strongly recommend, you consider the use of iodine on top of the other things that we mentioned. So let's recap. If you are a thyroid patient listening to this, and you are trying to recreate natural desiccated thyroid and make your thyroid medication more effective, there are four things that you could do to make, starting with the level thyroxine base, to make that level thyroxine close to an, an NDT formulation. So step one would be adding the thyroid glandular. So you'd have your level thyroxine plus the thyroid glandular. Step two is to add the T2 thyroid hormone. So level thyroxine, thyroid glandular, and T2. Step three would be to add the, T, the prescription T3 medication. And step four would be to add the iodine. And by adding all of these things together, you are really closely approximating 
all of the beneficial ingredients found in NDT and you're recreating why NDT is so beneficial. And as I said, the cool thing is this can be done regardless of the type of thyroid medication that you're using. You can add T2 to T3, you can add T2 to NDT, you can add T2 to level thyroxine, and the same goes for thyroid glandular and the T3 component and the iodine. So if you're not doing well, I would strongly recommend looking into these options. I will have some links below to give you an idea of what to look for if you don't know where to search for these supplements. Um, I, I, I have a pretty good idea of, of the, the good type of supplements that you wanna use. Um, if you're interested in this. So if you have any questions, leave them below. Uh, if anything doesn't make sense, leave your questions or comments below. And if you haven't already, make sure that you download my free thyroid PDF resources. I have tons of information, all designed to help thyroid patients just like you feel better. So if you like this stuff, you're really gonna love that. And otherwise, that's all I have for you. So I'll see you guys in the next one.